Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Bloom palette by BYS Cosmetics. Now BYS is an Australian brand actually, so quite interesting, right? Um, and they make their products actually fairly close by to me. They make their products about an hour outside of Melbourne. So, and I live pretty close to the inner part of Melbourne. So I'm excited. I saw this when I went to Kmart. I had to buy a few things for some upcoming uh, postal boxes that I'm doing with a few uh, friends on here. And I saw this palette and I instantly fell in love. Now, unfortunately, Kmart doesn't have any testers for these palettes. So I did a bit of blind faith and just bought it and hoped it was nice because look at that packaging. First of all, you know my channel's called Purple, Pink, Red. Purple and pink are my top two favourite colours and it's got both and I nearly died. And the lavender colour is just amazing. I love Japanese sort of style cherry blossoms and that's what it has on it and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, this brand also styles their palettes uh, in the same way that Urban Decay does. As you can see, they also have naked palettes as well. Um, so yeah, they're very into that sort of vibe. Now I will stop talking and I will open the palette for you. So there we go. Those are the colours that you get. And this mirror is on sort of a plastic spring. So you can actually move it back and forward without, and fully back, without uh, fear of breaking it, which is amazing. So there we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So you've got 12 shades to choose from. Uh, and as you can see, it's obviously a more warmish sort of vibe and a more pinky sort of vibe. Um, yeah. Yeah very light and sweet and as I said it has the fold back mirror it's got a very decent sized mirror there as well um, and obviously on the back there is the information uh, it says cruelty free and vegan uh, but it does say they're made in China I I'm unsure of cruelty free stuff if, if if they're made pardon me made in China if they're completely cruelty free even if they don't sell in China someone let me know in the comments i think they are cruelty free if they manufacture in china but go like export them elsewhere i think that's correct um it's got a 12 month shelf life batch life all of that uh it says warning do not use on delicate areas of the face and body i'm not quite sure what they mean by that because the eyes are one of the most delicate parts of the body <laughs> but anyway that was an interesting um warning that they put on the back so they say on here that there is one called shine which is this one here which is a high metallic finish um so i'm interested to see what they mean by that um it is a softer formula than the other ones we've got one two three shimmers and the rest are mattes which is a pretty good uh, distribution for a drugstore palette to have eight mattes and three uh, shimmery ones and then one sort of softer formula that's a shimmery one very good for drugstore um, yeah and it did come with these two little brush things there's one that's sort of the old school uh, oh, sponge applicator I've just dropped it and then this one which is a little brush one personally I won't be using them with this palette uh, in particular I'd probably take these away on a holiday or something like that if I needed to oh I'm just gonna pick that up uh, yeah so let's just get right into it I have swatched all of the colors here now unfortunately my my hoodie has sort of gotten in the way and it is a little hard to see some of them because uh, of my skin tone but the first one is Sakura it's sort of like a creamy white next one is cherry tree uh, sort of a camel color petals which is next to it which it has a little bit of a shimmer to it no actually no it doesn't that's a matte sorry and that one is a pinky beigey color <clears throat> sorry my voice has gone weird we've got starlight next to it which is a shimmery um, sort of pearl color blossom which is the matte pink coral coraly no dusty pink i'd say 
plump is the orangey uh, sort of brownie colour. Elegance is sort of like a reddy maroney colour. Next one is blushing, which is definitely more of a deep toned brick red, uh, sort of a maroney brick as well. This one is the high foil, high shine shade called Shine, the foil shade. And that is an absolutely delicious berry colour. Sorry, my arm's starting to hurt. <laughs> Uh, third one from the end is called Spring, and that is a sort of a deep brown shimmer. Second one from the end is Raw, and that's um, sort of like a clay colour, a clay ready colour. And Russet on the end is what I would call a true brown, a deep brown, should I say. I'm just going to wipe these off really quickly so I can actually <laughs> roll down my sleeve. So, yeah, those are the swatches. I was quite impressed by the shimmers in this the mattes are average um, for swatching but you know what we're going to try as many of these shades on as possible and see what we come up with um, i am obviously going to use a mixture of my fingers and uh, brushes and just see what happens so i think the best shade to lay down first would be something like sakura to get that um, nice base going so let's just get straight into that now i must say i was really surprised um, when i saw this eyeshadow palette um, in kmart because i've never seen anything as awesome as this before i thought i thought oh uh, you know drugstore don't usually have super interesting packaging they're usually pretty boring and i was shocked i was like Oh my gosh, this is actually awesome. It looks really awesome. Now that color has laid down really nicely with the brush, I must say. It's really done a good job. Now with the same brush, I'm going to go into Cherry Tree, which is this one here, which I think is a nice um, all over lid shade as well. Oh yep, yeah, this is going well. Um, and this one retails for $14 Australian, which is extremely reasonable considering Revlon palettes and things like that that aren't even like a complete 12 pan palette like this retail for $20, $30 in Australia. Um, so you're basically getting more shadows for less price. And uh, I really like that. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I really want to try and use some of these colors and see what happens with them. There is such a good range of lid shades I mean I could have even gone, gone with the pink I might even just see if that pink blends well with the other colors to be honest um, and I will go in with a fresh brush so it's true to color let's go for it so as always I use my secret garden uh, brushes from storybook cosmetics I'm a sucker for lovely packaging so I'm just going to pat a little bit of this along the lid I'm just building up a color story basically I want to try and use as many shades as possible. So I'm mixing the two together and giving you that look. That is stunning. <gasps> look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at the color. It's, see the mattes, mattes don't swatch very well and I'm a crap swatcher anyway. So, um, holy moly, this is amazing. This could be my new favorite palette, to be honest. Wow, this is awesome. Um, I will deepen out this part. I think I'll go for blushing because I want to keep it lightish today. I'm going to go in with doo -doo 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 -doo. that first brush I used. I might as well not dirty more brushes. I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit and see what happens. And I'm just going to work that in. Holy crap. I barely dipped my brush in that and it's actually wow I barely dipped my brush in that <gasps> wow that's really good I love this palette already hopefully these shimmers are really nice as well I will try the shimmers with the brush and I'll obviously try them uh, with a little bit to uh, without the brush as well. Oh my goodness. 
That I barely touched it. Look at it. It's amazing. Now, what am I going to do next? I think I, ooh, I think I'm going to do the lower lash line. Um, I think I might even go for a deeper color just to see how it works. The raw color. I just want to see what happens. And I'm going to use, as always, my little Wayne Goss number five brush. You guys know I love that for underneath the eyes. Um, made in Japan, these ones, these brushes are absolutely stunning. They are made from, I think, rabbit hair. But they pick the rabbit hair off the ground. It's not, uh... yeah. Oh my God, these mats are stunning. This is stunning. I'm so shocked right now. This is absolutely stunning. This was $14, guys. $14. Amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is stunning. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh my gashy goo. I'm just going to meet this up in that corner a little bit just to give it that kick oh my gosh oh i think we've got a good one here guys finally something australians can buy and not just the americans <laughs> finally no shade to any americans watching uh that's really good i like that now we're going to take it up a notch i'm going to use starlight in the inner corner and I'm going to take my other Wayne Gross brush that I love my little number seven brush which is meant to be a liner brush but I never use it for that I much prefer the other one Starlight is that pearly shimmery color wow this this is a really nice palette now the shimmer is a little crumbly on the brush I'm not gonna lie but I mean, my MAC palette does that and that MAC palette is freaking expensive. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, drugstore are really upping their game lately. I tell ya, really upping it. They're doing a fantastic job. A lot of drugstore companies are really investing in the product now. They realize there's a market for us uh, broke women out there. <laughs> or people who just don't want to spend the money um, and I think they're starting to realize that we exist <laughs> um, and that we want high performance and high quality products at a cheap price so there we go that inner corner highlight is popping it is popping baby I'm just going to bring it down and around a little bit Yes, ma'am. It is popping. I, I don't even know what to say. This is amazing. Now, I could do one of two things here. I could literally just take that shine shade and go all over the lid. But as tempting as that is, I think I'll use it in the outer part. Because it is the daytime here and I am going out during the day. I will try it with a brush. I'll see what happens with a brush. I'm just going to take... Just a dome tip and see what happens. And yeah, I'm going into that foil shade because it's so soft and I'm so curious as to how it reacts on a brush. Uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, it do, it works okay on the brush. Okay, it's okay on the brush, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually just put my finger in it. Look at that, one small swipe. I just did the tiniest bit because I don't want to go too overboard. I'm going to have to blend it because I'm horrible at applying things with my fingers. That is really nice. Honestly, I might even mix the elegance in a little bit. I just, it's a little bit too berry for what I want to do. Ah. I think elegance is actually nicer as a color. I think elegance is nicer. All right, 
let me blend it in because I'm horrible at applying things with my fingers. I don't usually apply things with my fingers because I'm really horrible at it. If I'm doing something precise like this, I don't apply with my finger because, yeah, see, it's patchy as hell, but that's not the palette's fault. That's my fault um, and my blending. Um, I'm going to try and really swipe some on and hopefully I don't stuff it up. I'm going to try with that shine shade again. I'm really loading up my finger this time and I'm going to, there you go. See, it's not the palette's fault. It's my stupid fault. See, I can't, I can't swatch things properly in that corner. I'm just, I got issues, girls. <laughs> oh, gee. All right. It is a really soft formula. You can see how much I'm pressing into it. It is such a soft formula. So just be really careful, guys. It's so hard for me to keep my eyes open because I'm that type of person. Now I've run some up here. See, this is what I do, dolls. This is exactly what I do. Okay. I'm literally just going to blend that out again. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not the palette's fault. I'm going to put a bit of elegance on as well. Elegance. It's not the palette's fault, guys. It's definitely mine. So I'm going to put a bit on the outer part as well. Yep. Perfecto. All right, and I'm just going to clean up that top part. I'm going to take this one and just put a bit of the blossom above here just to clean up that area a little bit. Okay. Excellent. I might even put a little bit of that Sakura. Oh. That one there, Sakura. Bit of a strange name for such a light uh, shade, but I'm going to put a little bit up here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara while I tell you a little bit about my final thoughts on this palette. So this palette, I'm, I'm really impressed. No lie, I'm extremely impressed by the formula, the way it's uh, behaving on my eyelids. Um, I think my use of that foil shade is definitely user error. It's not to do with the actual product itself. It's just me and my craziness. The mattes, even the dark ones blended out really well. They were highly pigmented. I, I think it's completely worth it for the price. And if you do live in Australia or New Zealand, it'll be probably a little bit more expensive than $14 in New Zealand. They usually are like 16 or $18. I would highly recommend you go and grab it. Um, yeah, they don't swatch fantastic, but they work really, really well. And I love the cohesiveness of the palette. I love that it has a mirror. I hate when palettes don't have mirrors. Um, and the packaging is just stunning. I mean, who wouldn't want to use that? Who wouldn't want to grab into a palette that looks like that? I think it's just stunning. So those are my first impressions, a quick review, um, my feelings on the palette. And yeah, like I said, I tried to use as many shades as I could to give you guys a really solid review. Um, yeah, look, would I pay more than $14 for it? Probably not. I would probably pay, mm, I would pay up to $20 Australian for this, to be honest. I think it's a very solid drugstore palette. I think it does compete with a lot of the MAC shadows that I've tried. I think it competes um, with Colourpop as well. I, I think it really does. Um, are you going to get a super, super pigmented look from this? No, not really. Is the colour story anything new? No, not really. But it is definitely the type of palette that is made for someone who is looking for something nice for every day that has that little bit of pop of colour but nothing too crazy. 
something that can be used over and over again um, for everyday looks, light looks. Um, yeah, and I'm so pleased I bought this. I'm really, really happy I bought this. Um, and usually blind buys can be terrible. I've, I've done so many blind buys and most of them turn out terrible. But occasionally you get a gem like this and it makes you want to keep on going so yeah great great palette i'm gonna give it eight out of ten i think definitely good like i said the only issue i really had was with that um that uh foiled shade um strain the formula is really strange but i made it work and i definitely would recommend using it with a brush so there we go those are my thoughts uh if you enjoyed please press that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, leave a nice comment. Let me know if you're in Australia or New Zealand and you're going to pick this one up. Let me know because um, I'd love to see your review with it. I'd love to see your looks with it. So let me know. And yeah, until next time, take care. Bye for now.